What's up, what's up, what's up? It's Mr. Catch22 here. Listen, like, comment, subscribe down below. Let's get this party started. Today's topic is how in the world are you gonna pass part one and part two of the A-plus certification for CompTIA? All right, I got it all planned out for you. First things first, on how I was very successful after, you know, I like being transparent, after my second attempt, yes, you heard that correctly, on both part one and part two, this is exactly what I did. And this is exactly what you do not want to do. First things first, though, before I tell you the do not, um, I'll tell you what I did do that I personally, in my personal opinion, mind you, uh, this was what helped me uh, for you to succeed. This book right here, this is the um, Holy Bible of the A-plus right here, certification. Uh, let me zoom in just a tad bit. Uh, it's pretty thick. Um, it's at least, I think, like a 1,000 159 pages somewhere around that 28 chapters um, I'll be honest when I was studying for this exam that was the first book that I got don't worry I'll put all the links down below with this book in particular um, it was super thick super heavy so it's something that you can't really blend in at work let's say you know you have to bring this out let's say during lunch uh, it's it's bulky but phenomenal this is by Mike Myers um, I loved it but I'll also be honest with you, I think I only got up to like chapter 20 or 15 until I realized like, wow, this is a lot. This is going to take me like at least two months just to, you know, get it, get finished with it. Because it, it just kept going. It was a lot of information, I'll be honest with you. But in my uh, personal opinion, um, with this textbook, I guess after every chapter, it'll give you like a nice little test. Uh, so just to kind of see if you understood the material. Also on top of that with this book, um, what I did like is also how to incorporate, you know, some of his storytellings. And also on top of that, it's it's doable. You know, if you're a big time reader, go for it. But also, um, in my personal opinion, with this uh, A-plus book right here, um, like I said, it's very hard to just be mobile with it. It's super, super bulky, but really, really good information. So... Um, that's something I'll definitely recommend. But personally, um, my top three was definitely, believe it or not, Reddit. And I'll provide the link down below. It was also exam cram. And then uh, last but not least, I would also say Udemy. Those are my top three. And I'll show you more uh, later on with this in this video. But um, also another big tip that also, you know, I would advise is these right here. These note cards. Um, I'll be honest with you, I had at least like 200 plus. It got a little overwhelming. It was a lot. They did help, but over it, I think towards, so part core one, because there's core one and core two. And by the way, you can take it in either order, whatever you prefer. But typically, you know, if you look at, you know, the numbers, it starts, you know, zero, one, two, three, and so on and so forth. But hey, they won't. They won't fault you. Uh, they won't tag you, but you know they're not going to bother you about it. So if you want to start with core one, be my guest. Uh, a lot of people, like I said, everyone has their own personal opinion. I personally thought core two was a lot harder than core one. So, um, but teach their own. Also, on top of that, one advice that I'll definitely give you is um, also not only using Reddit, but there's also another app that you can definitely download. It's called Discord. There's phenomenal groups and subs that you can join um, and you're just tag teaming with other individuals from the US, you know, around the world, just basically trying to study for whether whatever type of certification, whether it's A plus, network plus, security plus, you name it. Um, I love it. You meet some incredible people, current partner slash team mate that I'm um, actually studying with right now for another certification. Uh, she's located in Georgia. So we're pounding through it. We're trying to get just trying to get more cert certification on our belts, honestly. So um, another good advice that I'll also give you is um, take your time. Um, I'll be honest with you. Study as hard as you possibly can. And then also on top of that, make sure you actually know the materials in the sense that you can teach others. That's probably like my biggest, biggest advice to anyone watching this. Um, me personally, like I said, I took it the first time, didn't do too hot. I got blindsided, I'll be honest with you. I think I went there way too confident. And yeah, when I took the exam, I was just like, yeah, this is nowhere near what I studied. And I'll be honest with you, um, make sure 
you are studying. I am emphasizing that because, trust me, it's, uh, it may look easy, you know, and to some, I'll be honest with you, but some, it's just the way they word things. And you'll see, don't worry, when, when you get there, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So um, top three, like I said, is exam cramp, Reddit, and also um, Udemy. And I'll show you later on this video exactly what I'm talking about. All right, let's get this party started. So I already have these tabs open just so you know I can save time. But this right here is like I said, if you download or if you're on a laptop um, on your phone, you can get this right here, Udemy. Like I said, it's free, just sign up for an account. There's perfect times where you can take chances on getting deals. Um, my personal opinion and me being transparent, uh, try not to pay for the full price, even with the um, exam as well for the A plus certification. I'll tell you like some tips and tricks that you can do. Um, but also in regards to that, this is a perfect study material right here. Um, he just basically goes through the introduction, gives you advice on taking the tabs, the practice exams, um, also performance based questions that you'll also be using on the A plus exam. Um, I love this guy. Um, he's, he's helped me tremendously. Also, like I said, um, please feel free to download this app on your phone because you can use it while you're mobile on the go, whether you're taking a break, you know, um, let's say just going for a walk on the beach, you name it, you can do it. Um, also in regards to that, like I was pretty much saying, there's another, um, study tool that I loved using right here. This is called the exam cramp. Um, this is from person. This is it certification. Uh, don't worry. I'll drop the URL and all that in the description down below. What I loved about this the most is exactly what I said is this is mobile. Um, you can have it on your phone. It's just a PDF file. I love this so much because it really kind of broke down core one from like, let's say like chapter one to 10 and then from like 11 to 20, it was core two. It was very smooth, very transparent. Uh, loved it because it had practice exams towards the end. Also in regards to that, it also had quizzes for each basically subtopic that they were asking within this. Um, also, one thing like I strongly believe is always save money. Don't really try paying for the full amount because there's times where Udemy, they have discounts. So you'll probably go online right now and see that this practice, you know, this A plus from Jason Dion's like ninety nine dollars. Um, be patient. Like I said, the discounts prices varies, so I wouldn't jump on it right away and pay that ninety nine dollars. I think when I did it, I got it for eleven bucks or something, and it was worth the wait, you know. And also in regards to, um, let's see. This this exam cramp it says right here save per ten percent on the exam voucher so always take advantage of those discounts like never try to pay for the full amount no, saving money is always good also in regards to this um, Udemy from Jason Dion he has these six practice exams that you can also do uh, my personal advice is um, when it says you know eighty five percent required to pass take this practice exam as many times as possible. Trust me, I learned my lesson because I think I was scoring like 60% or something crazy, ridiculously low. And I thought I was pretty much confident to take the core one exam the first time around and I got smacked. So my rule of thumb is like I said, when, you, when you're so confident without being arrogant, make sure you're confident enough to know that if someone were to ask you a question, you could easily teach them, you know, and grasp the concept and understand. So obviously, as you can see, I took this exam six times. Um, roughly, there was about, let's see how many questions, 85. So, um, and each time it, my percentage got higher and higher and higher and higher. So that's what I would definitely recommend. Also in regards to that, um, you also have this, the exam compass, really good study material. Loved it as well. A lot of good questions, so take advantage of that. One rule of thumb that I'll always like to advise individuals that are doing this is don't go for exam dumps so, because there's some certain websites that you shouldn't be using as study material. And if um, the comp to you, you know, pretty much finds that you're using these websites um, or cheating, yeah, you'll be banded. So it's not worth it. I'm telling you the truth. Um, save yourself the headache. Just study. 
um, it'll pay off in the long run. Also, right here, like I said, how I love giving you guys tips and advice. Right here, this is where I'm going to post this link downstairs. I mean, downstairs, what the heck? Down in the description below. So if you have uh, loved ones, brother, sister, mom, dad that are currently in school right now, take advantage of that. Ask if, you know, hey, can I use your um, school you know, email account? Because you save a lot of money with the student discount. Because I think the exam itself, man, if I, I can't remember off the top of my head, it's probably like, 200 and look at you're getting it for like 106 bucks so that's that's a steal um but let me let me check something else so i can help you guys uh let's see so we know the price uh if i'm not mistaken so we can scroll down we can scroll down and this is this is their website by the way <coughs> so uh, let's see, core one, core two, 90 minutes per the exam, passing score. For, so for core one, you need 675. And then for core two, you need 700. So right here, this is where I'm reading it at. Um, let's see the price. Yeah, see right there, 232. That is ridiculous. And if you're a student, um, you can get that for 106. So that's a blessing in disguise. Uh, last but not least, this is what I also said. Um, also looking at the objectives this is from their website as well so making sure you take the time to study and go through all this i mean save a tree i mean you're more than happy to print it but just going through making sure you understand what keyboard is the cellular card video card hard drive you know etc etc going through this list and making sure that you can check it one by one and you're so confident enough like i said to teach another individual um like i said save a tree you can just Pull this up it's just a pdf file you can even pull it up on your phone but i mean it's a lot don't don't i mean don't get discouraged or overwhelmed but just work hard and study that's all i can really say um this personally took me about like man core one took me like a month and then core two also probably took me another month if i'm not mistaken but it was due to the fact that i was going to school full-time and i was also working full-time as well so um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave any comments below. Uh, I would love for a subscription. Um, get the word out. Um, and I, I just want everyone here to succeed because I feel like at the end of the day, that's all we're trying to do. We're all winners. And in, in this world, there's enough room for all of us to win. So good luck. Um, stay blessed and stay hungry. Take care, y'all.